Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, The Life of Nina. Today's Friday, we're going to do our Bible devotional journal study, and today's lady is Michal. Her name is spelt M-I-C-H-A-L, and her story is found in 1 Samuel chapter 18, verse 20. Let's go ahead and read from the Bible first. <clears throat> And Michal, Saul's daughter, loved David, and they told Saul, and the thing pleased him. Okay, let's see what the journal has to say. While David was still pretty much a nobody, Michal fell in love with him. Because of David's success, her father, King Saul, had given him a high position in the army. But when this new commander won victory and the people's acclaim, the king became jealous. To bind David to himself, Saul offered marriage to his eldest daughter, Merib. But Saul didn't keep the promise, and she married another man. Now hearing that Michal loved David, the crafty Saul decided to use her to entrap the popular young man. He sent David out to battle after telling his prospective son-in-law that the price of the marriage was to be 100 foreskins from Philistine warriors. Saul figured the Philistines could take care of this thorn in his side by killing David off. But God defended David, who came home with twice the number of foreskins required. Saul had no choice but to marry off Michal to David. Realizing that God was favoring David, King Saul feared his son-in-law even more. So he again plotted the younger man's death. But Saul made a mistake in telling his son, Jonathan, of the plan. Jonathan loved David and warned him. In the grip of an evil spirit, Saul tried to kill David himself, flinging a spear in his direction while his son-in-law played the harp. Following David's escape, Saul sent men to watch his house. Michal warned David that her father would kill him the next day and helped her husband escape through a window. Then she placed an idol in his bed, covering it to make it look like the sleeping David. When Saul's men came after her husband, she lied, saying David was ill. Cornered in her seat by her angry father, Michal again lied, saying she let David go so he wouldn't kill her. Saul continued to harass David and had Michal married to another man. Palti, son of Lesh. Scripture doesn't say whether Michal objected to the change in husband. As long as Saul was powerful, she remained Palti's wife, but David gained strength, and when Abner, Saul's commander-in-chief, went over to his side, David demanded that Abner bring him Michal. Though her second husband came weeping behind her, she was forcefully carried to David. Had her love for David died, or was she just tired of being a political pawn? The Bible never tells us. Having Saul's daughter as his wife secured his political position, and David became king of all Israel. But perhaps his high-handed attitude had demanded the relationship with Michal. When he came into Jerusalem, bringing the Ark of the Covenant back, David danced before it. Michal watched from the window, not rejoicing at the return of the Ark, but despising her husband. When he returned to the palace, she met him at the doorstep, criticizing his supposedly undignified actions. Offended, David told her he was celebrating before God and would be even more undignified if that is what it meant to worship the Lord. We can surmise the, the viral David had nothing to do with Michal after that, for she never had children. Michal had a sad life. Her father and David used her to gain their own ends. Obviously, she wasn't Susie Sunshine either, since she lied easily to her father 
and had an idol handy to slip into David's bed. But we can't blame her for disliking her treatment as a pawn in the political game. Michal's personal woes stemmed from her confused marital status. Let us remember that God takes marriage very seriously. It pictures his relationship with us and cannot be put on and taken off at will. Those who forget that may find their relationships unnecessarily tangled. Lifelong faithfulness to a loving husband pays a real bonus in later success. I agree with that. Okay, everyone. Um, I've got my oldest grandson here today and my daughter-in-law and the baby are coming home this afternoon. So I'm going to be really busy and I'm enjoying it so very much. Um, what a blessing. What a blessing grandchildren are. So I am going to um, go ahead and close now and I'll try my best to get back with you guys as soon as possible. I'll, I'll try tomorrow, but if not tomorrow, then it will probably be on Monday. So God bless you all and thank you for taking the time to come and listen today and be here with me and I appreciate you all. I truly, truly do. So I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.